Is King Charles really downgrading Prince Andrew's security? And if so, why isn't it as big of a deal as it seems? Today, we're breaking down the latest royal shakeup and what it means for the family dynamics. Could this be a sign of bigger changes to come within the royal family? Recent reports suggest that King Charles has decided to downgrade Prince Andrew's security, sparking a flurry of headlines and speculation. But when you take a closer look, this move might not be as drastic as it initially seems. In fact, it's all about bringing Andrew's security arrangements in line with those of his siblings, Princess and, and Prince Edward. Traditionally, only senior working royals receive round-the-clock security, with protection officers accompanying them even during private moments. However, for Anne and Edward, their security details are scaled back to only when they are performing official duties. At home, they rely on high-grade security systems directly linked to the police and regular patrols by local officers. Now, it seems Prince Andrew will follow the same protocol. So why is this adjustment not as concerning as some might think? First, it's important to note that Andrew's home, the Royal Lodge, is situated close to Windsor Castle, an area that's already heavily monitored. As one insider pointed out, this proximity likely means that Andrew's residence is under constant surveillance, offering an additional layer of protection. Furthermore, given the high-tech security systems in place and regular police patrols, the level of security Andrew will now receive is far from inadequate. Of course, this decision does reflect the broader changes in Andrew's role within the royal family. Since stepping back from public duties, his status and privileges have been gradually adjusted. But, as one observer Riley noted, perhaps this is all a part of a larger effort to equalize the treatment of all royal siblings, ensuring that no one is perceived as receiving special treatment. Interestingly, this isn't the only shift we're seeing within the royal family. For instance, King Charles has recently been spotted embracing his Scottish heritage by wearing traditional kilts at public events, something his son, Prince William, has notably avoided since childhood. A respected Scottish tailor even suggested that William might one day take up the kilt tradition, particularly as the Lord of the Isles. But for now, it seems William is content with his more modern wardrobe choices. Meanwhile, other royal tidbits continue to amuse the public. Designer Xandra Rhodes, for instance, recently admitted she wouldn't recognize Taylor Swift or Harry Styles, two of the world's most famous musicians. And in a lighter moment, Andrew Neal couldn't resist a dig at the SNP sparse conference attendance, quipping that next year they might as well hold it in the infamous camper van seized by police. From shifts in royal security to playful jabs at public figures, the dynamics within and around the royal family are constantly evolving. But as King Charles continues to make decisions that reflect his vision for the future, it's clear that change, whether it's in security protocols or fashion choices, is a constant in the life of the monarchy. And that's a wrap for today's video. What do you think about King Charles's decision to adjust Prince Andrew's security? Is it a sign of fairness, or something more? Share your thoughts in the comments below, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates. I'm from AU News, and we'll see you next time.